Welcome to Biology in Your Backyard. I'm Tamarack. I'm May. And I'm Oscar. And today we have a new video for you about... Worms. And I am so glad that we are doing worms today because we actually had a request. One of the members of the Junior Naturalist Club at Riverwood emailed us and said, I love worms. Is there any chance you could do a show about worms? And we said, yes. So. Worms are amazing. Worms are everywhere. They are found on every place on the earth except Antarctica. So let's go find some worms. Whoa, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Whoa, there's one. So if you want to find worms in your yard, just grab a shovel, find a clump of dirt and start digging. There's one. Look at that. There's another. Oop, come on. That's great. As I collect my worms, I need to make sure that I cover them with soil because worms are not able to protect themselves from the sun. So if you leave a worm out in the sun, he will get dry and sunburnt and then he will die. So please take care of your worms. For our show about worms today, we're gonna to present you with the top 10 facts about worms. Number 10. Did you know that worms are invertebrates? That means they have no backbone. Let's test this theory. Nope, no backbone. Mine doesn't have a backbone either. Fact number nine. Did you know that worms have no lungs? They breathe through their skin. That's right, May. Worms have to stay moist to stay alive. They can't dry out and they can't be exposed to the sun, otherwise they'll die. But after a rainfall, you'll probably see them scattered along a path as you go through a forest. The rains just stopped and look at all of these worms all over this path near our house. There's one. Bet you're gonna find some more. Oh, there's another one. This one's pretty small. Oh, and I see a big one. Look at this one here. Oh, it's so big. Fact number eight. Worms exude fluids to protect their skin. It also makes it easier for them to move through burrows in the soil. Here we see an earthworm moving through the soil. It extends its front first and then the back catches up. Fact number seven. Worms tunnels help aerate the soil and also allow water to get down to plants roots. However, too many worms can cause the soil to compact because of their poop. This can also take nutrients away from the plants. Worm poop is also called castings. And you can see there's a big pile right over here. Wow, look at that. So much poop all over. This area has lots of worms. Fact number six. Worms eat decaying leaves, fungi, and microorganisms. And their favorite time to dine is nighttime. Fact number five. Worms have a head and tail end. And they can also crawl backwards and forwards. Also, worms have a set of bristles on each segment of their body. Check out why this is important. Worms' bristles keep them anchored in the soil. If I was a robin, there'd be no dinner for me tonight. Oh, look at this big worm. What a great opportunity for an up-close view of those bristles. Watch him as he crawls backwards through this moss. See if you can spot the bristles on each segment. There they are. Right there. Fact number four. Worms are eaten by many animals, including skunks, snakes, frogs, and birds, including robins. Fact number three, 
Worms can regenerate part of their tail if the damage is not too great. That's true, but there's an old wives tale that says if you cut a worm in half, you'll grow two new worms, and that is false. Here's why. The majority of the most important internal organs of a worm are found here in the head region. All of its hearts, the main parts of its digestive system, and central nervous system. After you get past the clitellum here, there's not a whole lot to a worm other than nerves and muscle and one long gut leading to the end of the worm where the poop comes from. Fact number two, worms are hermaphroditic. That's a fancy way of saying they have boy parts and girl parts in the same worm. So when a worm is ready to mate, it doesn't need to find a member of the opposite sex. It just needs to find any old other worm who's ready to mate too. Here we see two worms mating, joined head to clitellum. They're exchanging sperm. And the number one fact about worms is that each worm lays a cocoon that can have up to 20 eggs inside. And the baby worms will emerge fully formed from the cocoon and will reach their full size after a year. The clitellum of the worm secretes a special mucus which will eventually become the cocoon. Each cocoon contains 20 eggs, and a single worm can lay between 3 and 80 cocoons per year. Today, we're also going to be showing you how to make a worm observatory. For this craft, you will need a 2 liter pop bottle, a regular sized plastic water bottle, a bucket full of dirt and worms, and some paper, which we've already pre-taped into a cylinder. Step number one is to cut off the top of your two liter pop bottle, as well as the top of your regular water bottle. Then you're gonna place your regular water bottle inside your two liter pop bottle. When you put the worms in, this will force them to the outside edges, which will make them easier to observe. The next step is to fill up your pop bottle with the dirt and worms. Make sure not to fill it up too high, just to the top of the regular water bottle. Now that it's all filled, you want to take a pe the piece of paper that I talked about earlier and place it over your pop bottle. This will protect your worms from the sun when you're not observing it. For your worm observatory, when you want to observe them, just take the, the cylinder off. Make sure to keep your worm observatory moist and to, in order to feed your worms, place dead leaves or kitchen scraps, such as fruit and old fruit and vegetables, on top. Have fun! So now it's time for the cool nature fact of the day and here it is. The largest worm in the world lives in Australia and it can reach lengths of up to three meters. We hope you've enjoyed this video on worms. Tell us in the comments down below about your encounters with worms. And subscribe to Biology in Your Backyard for more content like this. See you next time.